All right, so here's the house in question, 1189. So you got a little bit of like trailer parking over to the right. It's kind of like in this half cul-de-sac here. And right now they're doing a little work on the irrigation system, it seems like. So they got the street kind of blocked down. But it's come up, the driveway's in all right shape. There's cracks, but just kind of cosmetic. To this left, we got gravel. The lawn's in really good shape, well maintained. Looks like they got the proper gutter downspouts. As we come in, there is a store or a screen door. I'm just got it propped open. All right, as we come in, there's a tile floor on the entryway. And right up from that, we've got a coat closet with a uh, laminate hardwood that we'll see throughout the rest of the house. And there's just kind of like this little cut out nook, but come back towards the um, living room. We've got a fireplace here, a wood burning, and then <clears throat> kitchen off to this side. There's kind of that nook there. It is vaulted ceilings in the living room side. Standard ceilings in the kitchen. Nice light fixtures and appliances. Um, an island with a butcher block and then on the main countertops solid surface Saying the steel appliances there Then we've got a double sink with kind of the staggered um, Layout and then we've got copper pipe and it looks like they've updated this plumbing down here on the drain side all looks good um, As a garbage disposal, there's a towel backsplash around And over here we got the stove and the microwave range hood combo. Nice hardware on the cabinets. There is storage on this side of the island. Right here, we've got like a little pantry. If we continue down this hall off the living room, we've got right here, a stackable washer and dryer unit in the hallway. And then Straight ahead is a linen's closet. To the right is a bedroom that faces the street. This is the same side as the living room. Just your standard bifold um, closet doors. Coming out of this bedroom, for reference, kitchen that way and the bedroom this way, but we'll step into the bathroom here. This is the full bath upstairs, same flooring and the rest of the upstairs a nice light vanity you can see it a little bit better there um, solid surface countertops again looks to be updated plumbing there and then shower tub combo with a tile surround it looks to be really well done it does have a little notch out there shelving and then nice sliding glass doors. Toilet there. Coming back out of the bathroom. Kitchen to the right. Straight ahead's a linen closet. And then here's another bedroom. This is the only bedroom I believe with a fan in it. The others just have light fixtures. This bedroom is larger than the uh, other bedroom upstairs. Um, and closet here is a walk-in. Guessing this was used as like the master bath. So, coming back down through the hallway, the kitchen, kind of a dining room area with light fixture here. That is the garage. We'll go through there in a minute, but first we're gonna step downstairs. This is where there is carpet. Everything's been freshly painted and is the same color than with trim. Down here we do have crown molding up top and then the ceiling's painted. The way it's kind of set up is you got like a living room and then like a little nook back here Maybe like an office or a separated living room. Um, you can just see these walls right here. Could possibly add walls, make another room. 
or use it as an office as it is. So off this living room, we got kind of like a hall feature here. It's a little bit lower ceiling on this side as that's the duct work running through the house. Um, but first room we get into here is one of the other bedrooms. It's kind of elongated, pretty good size though. It does have proper uh, egress window for in case there's a fire or something. It is notched out. Needs code. Um, then we got the standard just bifold closet here. And then on this door, we have the hot water heater, which I believe was an 08. And then the furnace, which looks to be a bit newer. I didn't get a date on it. And this is underneath the stairs. Kind of hard to t see back there. Um, and that's your foundation walls over to the garage. Can give you an overview of the room here. Coming back out to the right takes you to the living rooms. Left, you got a bedroom ahead and then a bathroom right here. This is the same flooring that's upstairs as in the other bedrooms too. You got a gray solid surface countertop. Same light fixture as is up there. Again, plumbing appears to be redone. Nice fixtures in here. Um, interesting fact, there is a drain here. Uh, kind of nice. Something never did flood. And then we've got a three-piece surround with a tub for a tub shower fixture. Looks like they put in newer fixtures. Nice surround with their storage all around. Coming back out, for reference, there was the other bedroom and the stairs, and then here is the last bedroom. Again, it has the proper egress window for evacuation, and then just the standard closet door as well. Pretty good sized rooms downstairs. Coming through the hall, the hallway is carpet. The carpet does appear to be new. And there's the living room and cut out again. And then as you come upstairs, you're right into the dining room and kitchen. And then to the left, is the garage. There's a service panel right here. As soon as we come in the garage, there's an auto, automatic opener for the double garage door. Drywall has been painted in here. Makes it a little brighter, even though they've only got one light in here. There is attic access up there. Through this door, we can get to the backyard. As soon as you come out, there's a little porch overhang. Kind of nice. There is an electrical meter. Um, this little concrete area right here, that is a sprinkler system. Coming around to the side of the yard, this is where the gate is. If you were wanting to make it larger to bring a trailer back here or something, this is the gravel side of the driveway. Again, landscaping's pretty well. That one corner could use a little trimming up. There's shot of the roof. We got some pavers at the end of the concrete here. And then the siding looks to be recently painted as well. Here's the condenser. One that there's the uh, downstairs bedroom windows. First one, second one. Looks like a spigot's leaking a little bit. Um, and then this would be what was the uh, main bedroom with the walk in closet. And then right here, it just kind of ends with a little grass section or er, dirt. The siding's in really good shape. And this is it.